What's up everyone? I am back with another makeup tutorial. So first as always, we're gonna pop in some contact lenses and put on this cool sequin hat that I found at Buffalo Exchange. <laughs> Now this look, as you probably have already noticed, is made entirely out of sequins. So this tutorial is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to be here along the way to point a couple things out, like covering your eyebrows with glue. And then putting on a lighter foundation color. The reason that I am doing this step is because the sequins that I'm going to be using on my face are a much brighter color than my actual skin tone. So I'm just going to brighten it up a bit so it doesn't look too Awkward, I guess. Now to stick these puppies on, I'm just using liquid latex. And in the beginning, I did this whole process of laying down a layer of liquid latex and then setting the sequins down one by one. But later on in the tutorial, you'll see that I found a more efficient way of doing this. I actually dip the sequins into the liquid latex and then place them onto my face. All right, now this is the part that takes forever. Let's speed it up a bit. All right, next up is the eyebrows. We already covered it with a layer of Elmer's glue stick and powder, so it should be safe enough to put liquid latex on top. If it isn't, you are gonna be ripping out those eyebrow hairs and you are not gonna like it. Ouch! Now the sequins that we are using for the eyebrows are five millimeters. These are the smallest sequins that we are gonna be using on the face, as well as the eyeshadows. Those are also five millimeters. So they can get a bit tricky to pick up with your fingertips. Later on in the tutorial, I'm using tweezers to actually set my eyebrows and the eyeshadows, and it is much more efficient. All right, now these sequins that I am putting immediately underneath the eyebrows are very, very iridescent. They are like a white turquoise color, so they're a bit hard to see. When putting them on your eyeball, make sure you be so very careful not to get any liquid latex or any adhesive in your eye. I actually recommend using a glue stick because it is washable with just soap and water, okay? Carrying on with the blue eyeshadow, this is also something that you have to be very careful with. I'm using tweezers to make sure that I place them in the right spot and not get anything in my eye. All right, now on to the next set of sequins. We have the blush. First of all, I'm gonna be adding this pink highlight color on the top of my cheekbone, and then I'm going to be adding the darker pink color right underneath it, all right? These are eight millimeter sequins, so they're a bit bigger than the five millimeter on our eyes, but smaller than the 10 millimeter for the actual skin tone. Another thing that I should probably note is that these sequins are very iridescent as well, so I am layering them on top of each other to really make the colors pop out with the highlight and the darker pink shade. Once you have the blush and the highlight all set, the next thing you gotta do is just finish filling out the face. As I said earlier, I resorted to a different method of putting the sequins on my face. I'm doing like a dip and stick type of method. So I'm dipping them into the liquid latex and then placing them onto my face. Also, don't forget to cover your ears. This entire look has to be covered in sequins. So yes, even your ears count. Oh, and of course your lips, those also count. So let's not forget those. These sequins are also eight millimeter and they are very, very opaque. So one layer of these will do just fine. <laughs> and although they are sequins, try to get the same shape of your lips onto this look so that it doesn't just look like a big blob of red sequins on your mouth. 
So just kind of get the Cupid's bow in there somehow and just move them around till they actually look like lips. You know what I'm saying? And we are almost done. This is probably the worst part of the tutorial is covering your neck in sequins. <sighs> And although this is the longest and most boring part of this look, you just gotta toughen up and finish this sucker. Just lick and stick till the cows come home. As you saw, I just put on this cool sequin jacket to go with the rest of this look, and then I'm throwing on some mascara. This mascara is actually from I Done Minerals, and it's actually pretty sweet. I'm really liking it. And for final touches, I wanted to have these cool sequin gloves, so I bought these Michael Jackson gloves from Amazon, but they were so ugly. So I tossed that idea out the window and just grabbed these cool leather gloves that I had laying around and boom, it all came together. <laughs> now I am loving this all sequin look and I want to see if anybody recreates this. Definitely send it my way. I want to check them all out. And also make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any other of my tutorials. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.